When you think of New York, Times Square and its famous billboards are usually what come to mind. The mayor is now trying to make the tourist attraction a little more safe than it was before. Find out in our next report how. New York Mayor Eric Adams signed new legislation Tuesday banning guns in Times Square, even as a recent court ruling declared such a prohibition to be unconstitutional. Early this year, the decision to overturn New York State's long-standing gun licensing requirements really impacted uh, our city and state. It took aim at the safety of New Yorkers and opened another river uh, that we have to dam. And these, these two bills are going to assist us in damming those rivers. The decision came down less than six weeks. The Supreme Court decision came down less than six weeks after 10 New Yorkers were shot and killed in a Buffalo supermarket. Uh, it made a mockery of our justice system, made a mockery of our ability to keep New Yorkers safe. Gun violence is a national nightmare. Not a local nightmare, but a national nightmare. In a decision issued last week, a federal judge blocked a state law that prohibits guns in a wide range of spaces, including Times Square. The ruling permitted the prohibition of firearms in government buildings, courthouses, polling places, schools, and for temporary government events or protests. Religious centers can also choose to outlaw firearms. The judge, however, stopped his order from being implemented until an appeals court could weigh in. Despite the legal limbo, Adams went ahead with the announcement anyway. We're not going to live in fear. And we're going to make sure we create an environment where those who visit the city, such as Times Square, uh, won't have to be paralyzed with the fear of knowing that someone is carrying in a gun in this area. Well, the mayor also signed a second bill on Tuesday aimed at preventing and cracking down the flow of illegal firearms into New York's five bureaus, like mandating reports on the detail of firearm seizures and collecting data on dealers that sell firearms for crime and identifying ways where New York can work with other states to prevent interstate trafficking of firearms. Many wonder whether or not designating a place like Times Square as a quote-unquote gun-free zone would prevent criminals with no gun licenses to not use their firearms against unarmed law-abiding citizens or tourists. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World Is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.